Hey there, it's Cynthia Nestle at Create with Cynthia. And today I'm here to show you how to make a holiday pillow using uh, some products that I think are great, amazing products. Um, and we're gonna get started. So what you need in order to make this holiday pillow is I would suggest going down to Ikea or going online and ordering the pillow sleeves from Ikea, the $4.99. And the stuffing is I think $6.99 or $5.99. So $4 and $6, super inexpensive for pillowcases and pillow sleeves. So we're gonna use that from Ikea. Um, I'm also using essential stencils. This is the believe sign. Um, but I'm gonna use the one that says Merry and Bright. It comes in a three pack with Merry and Bright, Baby It's Cold Outside, and Let It Snow. I had to take a peek at the other stencil because I couldn't remember what color. Uh, I couldn't remember what the wording was. So um, I want my red pillow sleeve to have writing on it that says Merry and Bright, and I want it to be in white. So I'm going to use the gel art ink from a maker studio. So all you need to do this project is three things. You need your pillow sleeve, you need your essential stencil, and you need the a maker studio gel art ink. And guess what? You can find all these products on my website. If you go to createwithcynthia.com and you wanna click on the menu on the top, it's called paint and tools, and a drop down menu, menu will appear with essential stencils or a maker studio and you can click on either of those links and purchase the products online. So, the first thing you wanna do is you want to iron your pillow sleeve so that all the wrinkles are out of it. And I've already done that. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna line your pillow sleeve so that when your gel art ink is adhered to the fabric, it doesn't seep through the fabric. I normally would use a paper bag or a piece of cardboard, but today I thought I would try paper towels. So I'm just gonna line the inside of the pillow sleeve with the paper towels. Now you wanna make sure that your design is looking at you. So you want the zipper to be on the bottom and when you're doing your design, you're gonna have it facing you. So I've put paper towel into my pillowcase. And now I'm going to take my stencil. It's a Mylar plastic material. The brand is called Essential Stencils. I love them, they're reusable. All you gotta do is put this in a little bucket of soap and water and wash it right up. I've used a lot of different products with these stencils. I've used chalk paint, I've used gel art ink, I've used chalk art, and it all will wash off. It might stain it a little bit, um, but it will wash off. So I also like them because they're, they're sturdy and they're not real flimsy, and I feel like they wash really well. I think I've used this one probably five or six times already. Um, so the essential stencils, it's really fun. You can make, um, a, a lot of different things with stencils. You can you can do bags and tags for the holidays. You can do fabric, pillows, tea towels, handkerchiefs. Um, you can also do signs and do the stencil on board. So the options are endless. So um, what I'm gonna do is tape down my stencil because I think it will be easier and not move around as much. Now, my plan is to work from the top down, and um, I'm going to be using a foam brush instead of the, I think I'm a little crooked here. I'm gonna use a foam brush instead of the chalk art scraper and I'm gonna be pouncing the gel art ink onto the fabric. So here is my, my brush, my foam brush, and I've got myself a little Tupperware here that is one that I'm about to throw away because it's looking pretty grody. Um, 
and or I just actually what I do is use them for stuff like this. So I'm gonna try and use the the gel art ink called Well I Declare. It's a white color. And for this pillow, I'm gonna do I put that much in there. Okay. For this pillow, I'm gonna do a couple of different colors. I'm gonna do the the white and then I'm gonna do green for the leaves, and then I'll probably do the berries. Um, like a pinkish color, which is, this one is called Pretty as a Picture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pounce and kind of uh, put some gel art ink on the, the, uh, the foam brush like that. And you don't wanna have too much. And then I'm gonna pounce it onto the um, stencil, onto the fabric. We have some on the side there. And it might take a couple of, uh, of coats, but we'll see. Now, you can also use chalk art with these stencils and with the pillow forms, but you would not be able to wash them. This is a gel art ink it's used specifically for fabric, and once you heat set it into the fabric, it will not, um, it will not come out. If you want to wash it, you want to turn it inside out, and you want to wash it with cold water. But you, um, you'll have this pattern on your fabric for a while. Now that time I added a lot more, so I wanted to see if it made it different. So I'm just pouncing. I can get really impatient doing this. Uh, that's why I like the scraper and the chalk art. Um, but I'm just going to enjoy pouncing for a while and not really worry about the fact that it takes a long time. A lot longer than scraping it. So. Um, Okay, let me give you a couple of tips. And the tips are, make sure you have paper, towel, or cardboard in between the fabric. Uh, use tape to adhere the essential stencil to the fabric. It helps keep it in place. This is a large stencil and I think that part is necessary. Use a foam brush. Essential stencils carries some brushes that you can use this one is a foam brush through a Maker Studio. I decided to put my gel art ink into a Tupperware first because I wasn't sure how much it was gonna take. And if I had other projects, I could just put a lid over here and then keep it for later. These gel art ink tubs, once you take it out, you can't get it back in. Uh, so there's no saving of the product, and I am a big saver of products. So it looks pretty light. I'm going to take a peek. Oh, nice. Actually, I like it. I think it came out cute. Okay, so before I show you, I think what I'll do is um, do the green leaves. But first I'm going to do the berries. And I'm going to do another little coat here. So I was giving you tips um, on how to make this cute little pillow. So these pillows um, can be made for your own home or you can sell them at boutiques. I have a store, I usually sell a pillow like this with the form inside it for $25. And um, I'm able to purchase the sleeve for $4 and the form for $6 from Ikea. So I feel like it's a pretty good um, turnaround time. And I really enjoy crafting and creating a beautiful life. And so I do that through using my hands and making pretty things.
So I'm trying to do the berries in white here, and then I'm gonna get the green. And I'm just gonna put it right over the top. Mm. Actually, I'm gonna use the green for, I'm gonna use the scraper for the green. I'm gonna show you that it will work just fine. To be honest with you, I think I like the scraping better. I said that earlier. Um, I feel like I have more control of the, the gel art ink when I scrape it, but it's really personal preference. Now, if you mess up on your pillow and you take it off and you don't like it at all, there is always a solution for that. And um, what you could do is you could take some blue tape and make a square around the, the spots that you don't like and do it all one color. So then that way you'd have like maybe red and then a white square and then the image on top of the white square. So I'm just about done with this green. Oh, I got all these berries down here. So we have two sets of berries and three different sets of leaves. And then we will take a look at how our design looks on our pillow. So, almost done. I'm just checking all my spots. See. Now, you definitely get a thicker consistency of the gel art in the design if you use the scraper versus the pouncing. Okay. So, I think we're ready to pop my, I usually have a bucket of water behind me, it's there, and that's where I put my things that are kind of with paint on them so that I can get the process of them soaking started. I thought I was going to have a lot of extra white paint, but I ended up not having, so that's great. And then I'm going to, when I pull the stencil off, I'm going to do it fairly quickly because I want to not let it slip. Um, so I'm going to start up here and I'm going to just pull the tape off first and I'm going to hold the stencil down and then when I grab the stencil up here I can just quickly pull it up and then rip off the tape last so that there's no scraping. There we go. And then I stick my stencil in a bucket of water behind me. Now, there was a little bit of green on my Mary somehow. I'm not sure how that happened, but I think it came out looking really cute. So there is my pillow. And again, all I used to make this gorgeous, beautiful pillow is essential stencils and a Maker Studios chalk art. Now, once this dries, I'm gonna give it overnight. What I'm going to do is lay a cloth on top of it and I'm going to iron it and it's called heat setting it and you want to have your iron at 250 degrees and you want to heat set it and, and just slowly go around the whole design. I'd hold it on your design two to three minutes. Just make sure it really gets hot. Then you can start using your pillow. If your pillow gets dirty and you want to wash it, just turn your pillowcase inside out wash it in cold water, and don't put it in the dryer. And if you need to iron it after it's come out of the washing machine, 
just iron it inside out. So I hope you've enjoyed watching me make this really cute, merry and bright pillow. Um, if you're interested in purchasing it, you can head over to my store, Create with Cynthia. I have a space that's located inside It Is Vapor um, in Redwood City, California, 615 Woodside Road, Suite 3. You can come on over there. It'll be in the shop tomorrow and I'll be selling it for $25. So I have a couple other holiday pillows there as well. Um, and I hope that you enjoyed my video. You can give me a thumbs up if you'd like. Hit the notifications button if you want to be notified when a new video comes out. And go take a look at my website, createwithcynthia.com. You can subscribe to my, my blog and newsletters. Um, and I'd love to hear any feedback that you want to give to me. So have a great night.